Hello. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Palm Beach County Property Appraiser's Office Scholarship Committee, I'd like to welcome you to the 25th Annual Scholarship Awards Ceremony. Before we begin, the committee would like to thank all of those who helped to make this possible. We would especially like to thank our property appraiser, Mrs. Dorothy Jacks, for her dedication to this program and for provi providing this committee uh, with the time and the resources necessary uh, to make all of this happen. We would also like to thank John Brown, Roberto Castillo, Natal Natalia Mayorga, Angie Mitchell, A.B. Moses, and Christine Santazzo for their help coordinating these proceedings, as well as Deborah Lamans for her assistance with the interview process. Personally, I want to thank Ed Trainer for recommending that I replace him as the commercial department's representative of this committee. It's an extremely rewarding experience, I can tell you. I feel privileged to have met these young people and grateful to have been given the opportunity to learn about them through reading their essays and the recommendation letters from their teachers and their mentors. The committee would also like to thank all of the members of the PA staff who provide the financial foundation for these scholarships through our Dress Down Friday payroll deductions. Did you know that among the 200, 237 current employees that we have, 94% participate in this voluntary program. That is extraordinary. So as I said before, this is the 25th year of the program. Could anybody, everybody in the room and everybody watching live in our satellite offices that has worked here for the last 25 years, please raise your hand. That's great. I did the math. And each one of these people raising their hands who's participated in this program has financed a $1,000 scholarship by themselves. Thank you. But since this is the 25th anniversary, we wanted to do something special. And our gracious leader, Dorothy, decided that doubling the scholarship amount is pretty darn special. So this year, we are awarding five $2,000 scholarships. Since 1994, the Property Appraiser's Office has now awarded $130,000 in total scholarship funds to the brightest and most worthy high school bound, college bound high school seniors in Palm Beach County. This year, we received over 100 applications from high school seniors, all with minimum unweighted grade point averages of 3.0. I'll tell you the toughest part about our job as committee members is deciding which of the 10 finalists that we interviewed would be awarded. Everyone in this committee has said at one time or another that we wish we could give more scholarships to more students. Just to give you an idea of how difficult the cut is, among the 10 finalists that were interviewed, the five finalists that were not given a scholarship have an average unweighted GPA of 3.82, an average weighted GPA, HPA, of 4.79. Their average SAT scores were 1288, and they had an average number of community service hours of 492 during their high school careers, but they didn't make the cut. I know I speak for all of the committee members when I say we regret that we couldn't help additional deserving students. What separates these five winners from the rest is hard to articulate. They each possess something more than what's reflected in their transcripts and something that does not show up on their test scores or other metrics. I will tell you that each of these five award winners shows maturity beyond their years. They present themselves with poise and dignity. I have no doubt that our investment in the education of these five kids will reward this community exponentially in the future. Before we present the awards, please allow me to introduce the 2018 College Scholarship Committee. 
Patrick Kearney is our chair from the Condominium Appraisal Department. Joanna Guevara is from Exemption Services Department. Daniela Mutaliga is from the Residential Appraisal Department. Todd Wallace is from the Agricultural Appraisal Department. Mar Margarita Sotolongo Swope is in Financial Services. Nadine Levy is in Deed Processing. Barbie Shore is also in the Residential Appraisal Department. And our Administrative Liaison is Mike Pratt. My name is Luke Mintner and I represent the Commercial Appraisal Department. So now to present the recipients of the 25th Annual Palm Beach County Property Appraisers Scholarship Award is our property appraiser, Dorothy Jacks. I, well, good afternoon. First of all, it's an absolute pleasure to see so many of you here. Luke, did not mention Hector. Did you know that? <laughs> Hector. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hector in the middle. <laughs> Hector from our tangible department. I, I was oh, I was looking I was thinking, God, Sorry, the, everyone looks so good and <laughs> looks wonderful. Well, it is an absolute honor to do this this year. Um, welcome to you. Welcome to your families. Thank you so much for making the time to come and be with us. We are, uh, as you can see by what Luke said, we are an office driven by numbers and statistics. And so we love our numbers. And I thought it was wonderful what he said about the contribution of our staff over the years to the program and uh, you know how, how you all mean a lot to us. The committee I know who you met is just a small piece of our larger group. And I think it's very fitting that we're here on Friday when everyone dresses down. <laughs> so with the exception of us, the officially looking people, you'll see everyone here is dressed down, which is what contributes to this program. As you know, because we're the government, you know, no government money can go toward anything like this. So it is completely the contribution of the staff out of their own paychecks. So we lo love that about the program and it just makes them even more excited to see you here. So thank you for being here. And thank you. I, I just want to personally thank the committee. This is a huge undertaking. How many of you have served on the scholarship committee one of those 25 years? I know there's quite a few of you. And I think you would say that it's just such a rewarding process but it's a time intensive process. And this year, the committee has outdone themselves for our 25th year. So I want to give another big thank you to them very much. And uh, quickly, just to say uh, hello to the branches. We are, uh, this is our first year uh, doing this live streaming into our satellite offices. We have an office in North County, South County, Royal Palm, and Belle Glade. So we're happy to have them with us. Probably another, about probably 40 staff who are out in, the, in those areas. So we're glad they're with us. <laughs> so let's get started. I am privileged to be the one to announce each of you. And so what I would like to do is have you come up and stand next to me as I call your name. And then we'll give you one of these great big checks because we think they're fun. And, and, and we don't know what you're going to do with it later. But it's a nice piece of foam core. And you could use it for a project, you know. <laughs> Maybe it tear, you know, anyway. But we're happy to, uh, we, we love having you come up so everyone can see you. So I'm uh, going to start with Faith. Faith Men Meniti. Thank you very much, Faith. Come right over this side so we can, there you go. Beautiful. Faith is graduating from Oxbridge Academy with a 3.97. Are you the first class? No, no. No, you're about the, what, fourth, third? Third, I think. Third, like, we're the first complete class to have done all four years. Oh, how yeah. exciting. So, there you go. Thunderwolves. Thunder, <laughs> thunder wolves. I love it. Uh, Faith is had a 1390 on her SAT and over a 1,000 community service hours. I'm going to read you some of her honors. Uh, and activities while she was in school. She was co-historian of the National Honor Society. She was vice president of the Science National Honor Society, the president of the Green Club, the secretary of the Class Council and SGA, a participant in the Ethics Bowl, a scholar to the Cambridge University program in London. You like this list, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> 
She was oh, the, a political research intern with the League of Win Voters, excellent organization. Uh, well, I shouldn't, no plugs, no plugs, <laughs> no plugs, but they are good, nonpartisan group. Uh, an intern to Lois Frankel, House, House member Lois Frankel, and Secretary General, President, and Chair of the Model United Nations. Faith has spoken at the General Assembly of the United Nations. She's accomplished all of this under extraordinary circumstances. She has lived with her single mother who, who passed away when Faith was 13, soon after giving birth to her younger sister. And since then, she's lived with her grandmother and her stepfather and has been a primary caregiver for her baby sister. So we're very proud of you, Faith. And, and 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 just before we hand you your 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 check, which you don't take it to the bank, we will. <laughs> that would be kind of funny if we said, <laughs> "Here's my check." Uh, but I'm most importantly, well, I don't know if it's most importantly, but she will attend the University of Florida Go Gators. <laughs> No plugs, no, no plugs, no plugs. Uh, and we'll major in political science. No plugs here. No I was plugs. a political science major. Yes, so we're very proud of her. Congratulations so very much. Like and thank you so much for working so hard. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Do we want her to, Faith, to sit back down? Or do you want her to you, come and? OK, yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to hold it. <laughs> Thank you. Stephanie Casing. Casting. Casting? Yes, casting. Wonderful. Come up here, Stephanie. And now you're on. <laughs> you're at, Stephanie's graduating from Boca Raton Christian School with a 3.93 unweighted GPA and 4.8 HPA. That's the way. Weighted with weight, honors classes. Weighted with honors classes. Wow. She got a 1440 on her SAT and has close to 1,000 hours of community service. She is vice president of the National Honor Society, president and vice president of the Boca Raton Christian School Student Council, editor-in-chief of the yearbook, wow, a participant in the Harvard Secondary School Program in Cambridge, Mass., and a violinist in the Philharmonic Orchestra, part of the Youth Orchestra of Palm Beach County. <laughs> she has she has also done a lot of mission work both in Phoenix, Arizona and also in Haiti. She's active in her local church and although she comes from a modest background, the way she was able to attend the private high school she was at was by earning a four-year tuition-free award of excellence for outstanding Christian character and exemplary academics. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Stephanie will attend Columbia University in New York City. Awesome. What an experience. And she also plans to major in political science, so come on back. <laughs> we'll give Stephanie her beautiful check. Thank you and congratulations and well, so well, well much. done. Thank well you. done. <laughs> Good. Wonderful. Good. Next we have Jason. Jason Fox. Come on up, Jason. <laughs> Jason is graduating from Spanish River High School. Anybody here go to Spanish River? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> ah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's interesting. There's a lot of locals in the crowd here. So, uh, anyway, we have a Jason has a perfect 4.0 unweighted GPA. He earned an A in every high school class. Wow. Well done. <laughs> he got a 29 on the ACT. Wow. And has done 330 community service hours. He was president of the Biotechnology Club and founder of the Fishing Club. That's how cool is that? <laughs> That's neat. I didn't even know they had fishing clubs. See? Founder. Because founder, hence what they didn't until you founded it. That's great. 
Uh, he has done all this while battling a learning disability, but he has, has persevered. And I'm very excited to say, and Christine will be, Santaza will be even more excited to say that he will be attending Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. And you'll have to see this lady with the camera. She's from Rhode Island, and she has you have to talk to her because then you'll be able to understand everyone in Rhode Island. Because they're a little, little difficult to understand, you know. But we won't. Poor thing. We, she, but she's great to talk to, and she'll she'll. She'll share with you some of the uh, right words. He is, Jason is going to major in biomedical engineering. We're really proud of you, Jason. Thanks so much. Thank yeah, for working so hard. <laughs> we'll give you your check. And ha there we are. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Our next is Yesenia. Yesenia, see I was very close, I've been practicing, Yesenia Perez, Ben, nice to be with you, glad Thank you're you. here. <laughs> so Yesenia is graduating from Forest Hill, I know there's some Forest Hill people here, yes, there we are, see, yes, my husband's a Forest Hill grad, so, uh, with a 3.77 unweighted GPA and a 4.74 HPA, 1310 on her SAT, and 180 hours of community service. Like I said, we're an office full of statistical people. <laughs> Have you noticed? We love our numbers here. Uh, she is a member of the National Honor Society, a member of the Key Club, has a leadership position with the Criminal Justice Academy, and is a candidate for the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. She is trilingual with fluency in English, Spanish, and French. She also was dual enrolled while taking while in high school taking classes at Palm Beach State. She's an active volunteer in her church and works at a veterinary clinic where she uh, actually earned her working position after months of volunteering there. She mentioned in her interview how much she loves Palm Beach County and plans to be an active community member here after college, which we love. <laughs> she will also attend the University of Florida, go Gators, and plants. <laughs> and plans to major in animal sciences before going on to be, guess what, a doctor in, vet in veterinary science. So we're very proud of her. Look out for her name. One day, one day we'll, she'll be the official vet of the Palm Beach County Property Appraisers Office, right? <laughs> yes, there's plenty of pets in this room, so. But uh, congratulations, let's give you your check. That's a great story, good for you. Good. Thank you so much. I will also say, you know, one of the nice things, please, please don't feel you guys. I'll also say one of the nice things about so many of our local students is the importance of people come back here to Palm Beach County. You know, we, we hope you all will. We know life doesn't necessarily always work that way, but, uh, you know, it's, it's neat to see people who come back to the local area and then, you know, begin supporting it in, in so many different ways. So... Uh, Sage, Sage Albert, come on up. You're doing well. <laughs> You're the last one. You're probably going, oh, God, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sage is graduating from the Dreyfus School of the Arts with a 3.92 unweighted GPA and 4.71 HPA. She, what did you originally go there? What? Digital media. Oh, interesting. Hey, hey, Christine. Hey, <laughs> hey. <We're, laughs> we, uh, we've been looking for somebody to help us with that. So anyway, but you got to go to university. That's more important. She uh, had a 1,400 on her SAT and wait for it, 2,255 community service hours. Wow. <laughs> She is the community outreach coordinator, was the community outreach coordinator for the National Honor Society, a member of the National History Honor Society, a member of the National English Honor Society, an award winner with the YMCA Volunteer Spotlight, president of the St. Baldrick's Club, which we'll talk about in a minute, and an award winner from the Palm Beach Philanthropy Tank. Is it, you sure that's tank? 
going to be tank? Is it tank? Really? Like shark Oh, got it. <laughs> like shark tank, you guys. Of course, you all had that like 30 seconds ago while I was still working that out. She received a $12,000 grant for the Go Green program in which she taught special needs children how to swim at the YMCA, where she's an extremely active volunteer. She holds certifications in lifeguarding, first aid, CPR, water safety, and administering oxygen. Wow. She, Sage, shaved her head in front of the entire school, donating her hair to the St. Baldrick's Club and raising $2,400 for children, ca children's cancer research in the process. Yes, congrats on that. <clears throat> She's also, she, also, this, she also participated in the 2017 International March for the Living, which visits concentration camps and other historical sites in Poland, which I don't know if any of you are familiar with that, Program, but it's a really amazing opportunity for students and educators to talk about the Holocaust. And uh, they, I know a bit about this because my husband did it a few years ago. They actually tour numerous sites that were part of, of the Holocaust and of World War II across Eastern Europe. So that's great you got to have that experience. I mean, nothing better. She will attend the University of North Carolina. Go Tar Heels, right? <laughs> at Chapel Hill, where she will major in human geography. Everyone, isn't that it? That's great. And when, when, you all, when, we, when we get to talk to Sage uh, af, when, after the ceremony, she can tell us what human geography is, right? Because, of course, of course, we all perked up when we heard geography because we have a big mapping section here. You know, we do a lot with creating maps of the county and where parcels are and so forth. So, and then I saw human geography. I was like, hmm. Okay. So we want to say congratulations to Sage. You know, well done. Well done. It's all worth it. We'll let you hold your check. Thank you. Good. Thank you. And that is our fifth, uh, our fifth recipient. I just want to say again, congratulations to you all. And as as I think Luke really um, hit upon, that you know there they, we had ten kids who could have received these scholarships, and I hope we're going to be talking to you in the next few months about if we might be able to increase our number of scholarships in the future. So we're going to talk to you about that because we just think that he, he has really, uh, you know, me with his comment about all the different students and how great they were. Patrick and I had a chance to talk a little bit about them and we just really, uh, it's just exciting that we're able to help them in this really substantial way and truly we do literally give them a real check in an envelope, <laughs> a little, little check uh, for $2,000 that you can spend in any way you need to. That was something important to us. We wanted as a, as a group to be able to provide you with that cash, as it were, to help you, help you get going. So congratulations. We hope you'll keep in touch with us and tell us how everything is going and uh, let us know about your future successes. So thanks so much for being here. So that, that concludes our, our ceremony. Um, please help yourself. This year we have uh, a little bit more than cake. We got some sandwiches and chips and fruit and, I'm um, sorry? Oh yeah, let the students eat first. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. <laughs>